Hi guys and welcome to another Coach Dave Academy lap guide from me, James Armstrong from Brad Me Sports. Today I'll be showing you what it's like to go around the Luca circuit in the Porsche 992 Cup car for the week 10 of the Porsche Cup Sprint Fixed Series. Without further ado, let's get started. There we are, so we've just completed our fast lap and now we're going to go look over it. So to set the lap up, you want to be in the last chicane, right over to the right, over the kerb as much as you can, gently on the power, because the traction is really bad on these temperatures. And be careful, you can run over on this kerb here, however it is very slippery, especially here, and there's a big chance of spinning, so I would avoid using that extra kerb there. And then down the straight, wide as you can, build up the speed and keep it far to the left. Nothing really much, not on the straight, straight, drive straight. And for turn one, there's a white line here. As you can see, just that. Breaking as we go over the white line, as you can see. Just past the white line, start breaking. Initially, quite heavy to get the car slowed down. And then once you're in line about the blue cone, start turning it in, bleeding the brake off so you don't lock the front right. I found that when you touch this curb, it locks the front right and you wash wide, but it might work for you. Gent, keep the brake on about 30, 45, well, actually, no, 30, 35% just to keep the car slowing down, but be mindful of the front right locking. Keep the brake on, bleed it off much more as you turn the steering wheel more into the corner. I'm looking for that sort of apexing about the middle of the corner, still on about 10%. Hit the curb where the the tire marks are as you hit the curb bring the throttle in i bring it in quite aggressively it helps the car rotate because on this setup it's quite understeery on the fixed and then gently bring the power to 100 percent making sure you don't understeer off into the grass and make sure you don't light the rears up coming into this next s section it's very fun gently tip it in very gentle on the brakes about 25 percent 30 percent you want to hook it up on the curb for this right left i mean i keep it in fourth gear so yeah fourth gear across the curb then i use the downshift on the right to help the car rotate also using a bit of brake so brake downshift tip the car in just touch the curb if you touch the curb too much it also makes the car understeer like if you touch the curb at the top bring the throttle in about 50 percent then bring it back up to 100 just for a quick second then drop to 50 then drop the 
throttle all the way for the next left, tap the brakes, very, very light this time, only 5% maybe just to help the front right load up. And then once again, if you go over the curb on the green bit, it's really slippery and you can't spin. So you want to be as much as on the curb, but not onto the green bit, as that's quite slippery. Again, I bring the throttle in quite aggressively, straight to 50%. It just allows the car to rotate a bit more because you want to keep it to the left, sort of a car width away from the uh, left edge there. As you tip it in to this right-hander, a tiny bit of brake just to help the car rotate, but not too much. Again, just hold the car on the curb. You don't want to touch the curb though until you see the tire marks. You want to keep the car well to the right because this left-hander is very understeery, but it's crucial for a quick lap time that you exit the corner quick. So I bring the throttle in 100% as I'm bringing the car over to the right, but then as I'm turning it into the left, off the throttle, about 50%, then down to 25. And you just, you got to kind of play with it, see how it feels. Here, it felt quite like it was rotating quite nicely. So I bring the throttle in as I got to the curb, I bring it in 95, 90%. And then I just sort of held it there as well. Cause as you come over the crest, the rear of the car gets a bit slidey, as you can see by my steering. The fact that I straighten the steering up here, even though I'm still going left, I had a little bit of, bit, bit of traction issue, but that's not really to worry. And then just 100% throttle it. Be careful about using this curb here as it just sucks the car to the right and it is very understeery. So if you use that curb, you'll likely be in the gravel over here. Full power down the straight. Oh, playing the camera. Full power down the straight. I brake just after this 100 board. So 100 board goes out of the vision. Then I then bring the brake in. Very heavy, about 80%. 85%, just making sure you don't lock the tires. And then downshift and begin your turn in just at the 50 board. You see that I had a little bit of locking on the downshift, so bring the brake down as you turn it in. You want to run this curb over with about, well, most of the car. You can see about half of the car over the curb. It does a big bounce, but it lands very well. And then Back on power nice and aggressively, but don't go on this. This is off track over here. You want your tires just in line with the green. Keep the car all the way at the left as you brake. Sort of halfway down the curb, about 50%, 65% as, as the grip is a bit less over here. Tip the car in just before the end of the curb. So you're maximizing the entire track that you can use, as you can see. Any more, you'd be in the grass and you'd be in this wall over here. You ideally want to hit this curb up here. I just slightly missed it, but it just helps the car rotate hitting this curb. And then on the exit, bring the power in any wider than this is an off track. So if you like your left wheels go onto this red curb off track. This corner, very tricky, very easy to lock the car up. I tip it in, hold it on this right hand curb. I brake just as I hit the curb. Very light on the brakes though, only 45, 40%. And then once the car sort of straightens out, you can push that brake back in as when you're in a straight line, push the brake in a lot harder, 70% maybe, and bring it down the gears. I bring it into first to help the car rotate in, keep the brake on all the way through the corner. I short shift to second because first gear traction is not very good at all. And you want to very slowly bring the throttle in. If you bring it in too quick, the back end will slide and that'll cost you two, three tenths. And then... Once you feel like the traction is good, full throttle on the outside curb, and away we go. Down the strip, keep it to the right, then bring it out. You want to scrub the tire as little as possible, making sure that your car is still to the right, coming into spoon. This one, I brake quite a bit before the exit road. You can sort of see where this orange barrier is about to go off the screen. I brake sort of when I can see that just about to leave my screen. It's quite a rough braking point, this one. There's nothing really to go off, apart from that orange curb, orange barrier, I mean. But here, bring it hard on the brakes. Bleed the brake off as you turn in. Don't really touch this curb, it sort of understeers the car a bit. On power, very slightly, like just if you overslow the entry a bit, you can get on power a little bit between the apexes. Be careful on this curb because this curb is also incredibly slippery and it's very easy to spin on. Brakes again, 
for this next left, it's a lot tighter. You've got to go a lot slower. And then you just sort of wait for the car to rotate. It sort of doesn't really want to rotate uh, on the fixed setup for this week. But eventually, you'll get to a point where you can turn in, get the power on, just touch the curb. This one's another one where the back end likes to come out if you get on power too aggressively. So you've got to sort of be 75%, wait for it to gain traction, and then full throttle. You can use a little bit more than this on the curb, but say half a tire width more you can use, but any further, like if you go too far on this green, it's an off track. The straight, bring it to the left, just run the shortest line possible. Now this corner is very fast in this car. At the 50 board, come off a throttle, brake a little bit, and then you tip it in. Ideally, you want to have two wheels in the grass. I just about missed it, but two wheels on the grass and full throttle. As soon as you come off the curb, full throttle, run the car across the curb. Here is another one where you can run a bit wider and not get an off track, but you run the risk of the car spinning out. I think the off track is if your left tires hit this red curb, but if you have like half your tire on the red curb, half on the green, the car will just spin off and you'll be in the wall on the left with a completely dead car. This here is another really tricky braking, braking zone I found. It's very easy to lock the front right, but I brake at the 150 board, just past the 150 board, hard on the brakes, 90% maybe, but then bring it off as the speed drops. Be very mindful of that front right. Watch the, uh, you gotta watch the locking indicators, especially when you bring the, the steering in, you gotta really come off the brake quite hard, because as you see there, I had a little bit of locking there. So you're just going to bring that brake right off as you turn in. Ideally, you want to hit the curb a tiny bit more than I did here. Uh, you want like your left tires to almost be hitting the red bit. A little bit of throttle in between just to help the car. It just helps the car rotate and keep your minimum speed up. Off the throttle, don't need to brake for this left. The car rotates quite nicely. Use all the curb available. And then gently on the power again because uh, it's very not much grip and again you can use this bit here but it's very slippery i wouldn't recommend it and for the faster slap you want to not scrub the tire too much but you don't want to wash out too wide either and that is a lap of suzuka circuit in the porsche cup car there we have it guys a full on-track analysis of driving the porsche 992 cup car at suzuka circuit international I hope everyone at home finds this very useful for the upcoming races in week 10 of the Porsche Cup Fixed Chal Series. We will continue to produce lap guides for the rest of the season. Make sure to check out more lap guides, top quality setups and coaching over at coachdaveacademy.com or visit their extremely helpful Discord for more advice. Catch you all soon.